team was nowhere near a finish. He's going to return for 32. He's three out of four on the finishing is Gilbert. Yeah, he's handled this situation very well. What and he's way? going to have to handle this double 16. Well, he's being posed questions throughout by Kieran Tian. But Please, Gilbert Joe van der Meijen has just found the answers. A 4-2 success against the Irishman. And van der Meijen, who was so impressive in Group A, starts off his Group B campaign in similar form. A 92-0-2 average, pretty much the way he's been playing throughout the course of the week. 4 out of 6 on the doubles. He gets the better with Kieran Tien, who averaged 90 and a half by four legs to two. Coming up next, this could be done and dusted in a flash because Mark Dubbridge takes on Harry Wart. Connor Walsh, averages, averages, averages. Well, I hate to break it to you, Connor. Darts is played on a board Game shot on the third of line. numbers. Harry Ward. For Ricard, more 56. darts in the, the home nations and in Ireland for years and years. Tops for Dubbridge. Doesn't go. And you could hear Adios the frustration as well from Flash. And it could be over in a flash as Ward steps up for double 10 to seal a 4-1 win. And to get his campaign match, off Ward. to a perfect start. It's a big win for Big H to kickstart his campaign. A big average to boot. 98 point. No, 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 no. Don't do it, Henry. No averages. Well, I'll tell you what. No more averages. To the break. Next game, it's Kieran Tierney against Mike Gillett would have raced through the first three games in less than an hour. Nice. That included a 10-minute build-up to this session, by the way. And remember, at the end of Game 5, we're going to be releasing next week's lineup. 59. And it's Didn't a very 62. good lineup. Yeah, And as always, I have no insight into the full lineup next week, apart from those that we announced. Game shot and the Announced win here. for Tian. A 4 0 success against Mike Gillett, averaging 96 97. Four from six on the doubles. A real proficient performance from the Irishman. That's the tail of the tape from that one then. And coming up after the break, Gilbert van der Meijen up against Mark Dubbridge. Well, this is far from toilet. What are them? It is. It is, Hinksy. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the longest winded 180 I've ever seen? And so Dubbridge back for 72 to seal his first win of the night and to contend Gilbert to defeat. It'd be a reversal of fortunes on match one. Game and Dubbridge gets over the line with a 14 dart to a 4-1 win for Flash, who gets the better with Gilbert van der Bayern. A convincing display. Both players averaging in excess of 90. We saw six maximums all told in that one. Then Mark and Hinksy having a chat about the 180 incident there. Dubbridge, a 4-1 winner in that particular tie. We're at the halfway point already. We've got Ward and Gillett for you next. The ball Game beautifully the pinned by Mike Gillett Gillett. Gillett to level up at one apiece. All right, someone says here, I get the Super Series like is a super platform, but Chris Henry, don't champion it. Think about the damage the Bronze Adonis could do here. 87 for Gillett for 3-2 in the break. This would be for an 11 dart leg. Game a 12 dart will do. He leads 3-2. He's thrown for the match now. Michael Carr, well, this is for the match. 72 for Gillett. It's tops. Game it's there. It's match. a win Mike for Gillett. Mike Gillett. It means that every player has won at least, well, they've won once so far this evening. Every player level on two points now, as far as the group is concerned. What have we learned from the first five games? Well, pretty much nothing, really, if you consider the way the games have gone. But myself and Mace are going to analyse the action, plus reveal that big-name player that's making their Super Series debut. Type in on the chat room in the comments section below who you think it's going to be. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll reveal that big name for you after this short break. Best player to never win a week. Thornton. Yeah, that's ri ridiculous, isn't it? Some good players that haven't won a week before. 
Double double. Game show wow. Flag. Clutch finishing at its finest. Tampaji fought so hard to get himself back into the match. Maybe just running out of a little bit of steam well, in the decider. Not a lot he could do about this leg. One seven four, one eighty. As Tian wins in style. A 13 data, a 4 3 win for the Irishman. And it means that he moves on to four points. The first player to pick up more than a solitary victory so far this evening, doing so with an average of 92 72. As for Dubbridge, well, he did well to claw the game back, but Tian just had too much when it came to the decider. Coming up next, it's Gilbert van der Mine against Harry Ward, whose nickname is Believe. That first dart was quite an inviting guy, but he couldn't follow it with the second there. And so D10 for Big H. And he's had a few of these this week where he's just, just off the boil slightly. No such worries for Harry Ward as he wraps things up. Four legs to one with yet another average. We've seen a plethora of them this evening. 90.40 for Harry Ward. Gilbert van der Maiden. 84-91 in the end, just one from seven on the doubles. Four from 14 for Harry, but it was more than enough to pick up the two points. And when we come back, it's Mike, Mark Dubridge back in action against Mike Gillett. Should be more apt nowadays. She looked at a card last year. Game shot on the Brilliant second finish leg. from Mike Gillett. Gillett. Well, this would be some way to finish off Unite's campaign. We'll move Dubbridge on to four points, and it would keep that possibility of every player finishing on the same number Michael of points Warren alive. And you may have to take out the fish. Not to be. So get it 92 for the match. 58. Michael Carr, 92. And for Gilbert to come in the last game, he could put himself in a position here to move himself to the top of the league table. If he can pin double 12 game for 92 Mark to Mike seal Gillick. proceedings, Mike Gillick gets a better Mark Dubbridge by four legs of three. Flash is going to have to deal with just the one win from his first night's play here at the live lounge. That the tail of the tape. Well, as far as Mark Dubbridge's night is concerned, every player averaged an excess of 90 against him. Might get it the latest and last of which, the 91-91, that 103 checkout, stemming the tide of the game. Coming up after the break, Harry Ward and Kieran Tian in our penultimate match of the evening session. The off if you're not until third, then obviously you can leave it a tad later. <clears throat> well, considering the way Ward got out the traps... Tian was responded superbly, and that 116 has accrued the break, and he now leads 2 1. Cooler these days, too. 127 for Ward. The ball. Beautifully pinned. This has been a beautiful game, and it's another ton topper for Ward to lead through two. The ability to scan that code, do so, and it'll take you straight to the landing page. Well, it looks like War's going to land a big, big win here. 106.37 the average, and he could complete it with a 12 dart leg. If he pins the bullseye, doesn't go. It's the first missed dart of a double in this game, and it could be punished because Tian's already taken out the 116. Well, he needs to find a way across. Veered over to the right-hand side, 16. was unsuccessful in that car, task. 25. And so, Ward comes back for 25 to complete the deal. Double eight. It'd be a 4-14 data game. of the Show game. The what Hollywood. a match and what a performance from Big H. Saving his best until last. An average in excess of 102.93 in a thrilling contest against Kieran Tian. That the tail of the tape. From an absolute perler here in Portsmouth. One more game to bring you. Mike Gillett up against Gilbert van der Meyen. Right, averaging 92. We thought we we're in business here possibly with him. but Well, he did average 92.77 in his next one. Then he did have an off game for him. 84.91. 
Four, four, two, win. That might not be the worst guy for the treble. Double 18, Old Faithful James, seals Gilbert the win with a tongue Vandermeer. topper. And Gilbert van der Meijen beats Mike Gillett by four legs to two in a cracking tie to end the evening session. It means that everybody's in play following the first night's play. Well, have a look at them numbers. What a match we've seen. Both players are averaging way above the ton, deep into the contest. But it is Gilbert van der Meijen that wins it by four legs to two. Myself and Chris Mason are going to head next door to have a chat about what we've seen.